Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you everybody for joining me. I hope you're having a great day. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take a quick look at some of the new fish at my local fish store, Fish Bowl Pets in Stanford, Connecticut. Now the first thing we're gonna take a look at is one of the saltwater tanks. Check out this really cool saltwater crab. I gotta be honest, I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Almost looks like he's from out of space. They also have a nice uh, variety of soft corals in here and a couple more beautiful fish. But I'm really digging that crab. No, I'm not gonna get it, don't worry. I have no place to put it. <laughs> it would be a very expensive dinner for one of the puffers. And here we have something. Oh boy, check this one out. Look at this frontosa. Just a huge fish. Probably the biggest frontosa I've ever seen here. Uh, I believe it was uh, it was don not donated, but you know it was brought in by a uh, by a customer where it outgrew the tank. I I gotta be honest, <laughs> I'm so tempted to get this thing. I, I need to bring a taser with me so uh, I can tase myself because I have no place to put this. Don't taste me, bro! Don't taste me! I can't do anything! Ow! 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 Now, I believe this is a male, um, which definitely it's not going to go with my other males. So I really have no place to put it. Just whoever gets this is a really nice fish. It's already got the nice hump on its head. You notice I used the word hump. I don't want YouTube coming after me. But definitely, definitely something I would like to have if I had the room. Oh, do me a favor. Hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. Thank you. Well, I don't want you to miss out on any of the new comment coming out. Comment. Content, dummy. <laughs> Jesus. You know, when I was little, I got lost once, and I found a policeman, thank God, and I asked him, I said, well, can you help me find my parents? And he looked at me and goes, I don't know, son. They could be hiding anywhere. And here we have a, a little boy frontosa, which I gotta be honest, I think your buddy Vinny's taking this one home with him today. It was uh, love at first sight. All right, let's be honest. I have an addiction. I need to go to a Fish Keepers Anonymous. Hello, my name is Benny, and I'm addicted to fish. Those are also some beautiful fish right there. I would say it, but I'll mess up the name, so I'm not going to do it. Dimasani, well, whatever. That's, that's as close as I can get. Don't worry, there's another fish I can't even pronounce here either. Leave a comment down below. And here we have a uh, high fin shark or whatever they call it. Seems to be a catfish to me. These things, guys, these things get huge, huge. So please think before you try to bring one of these home because they get monstrous. I, I believe I showed that in, a, in my top 10 tank buster video. Now here's one of his saltwater tanks. That right there is the Stars and Stripes puffer that I was I was thinking of taking home, but luckily I got talked out of it because uh, I don't have the room for it. But uh, this is definitely a really nice tank. There's some other beautiful fish in here too. But I like this guy. I liked how dark his spots were. There's a little clown. They've really expanded their saltwater section over the last couple of years, which is good to see. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like a kid in a candy store. I want everything when I come into, into my local fish store.
And here we have a file fish. It, not the best picture, but it's it's the best I could do. Those are really strange fish. I just think they're gonna get picked on. Also, it's getting warm out, so it is pond season. And my local fish store not only cleans and builds ponds, but they have everything you need to stock a pond. Uh, this is a beautiful shape right there. I would love to be able to put this in, but my homeowners association <laughs> would really get bent out of shape. But, you know, nothing beats a nice pond outside with the running water. Now, huh, here's something I really wanted. The dragon puffer. Now these guys, they're, they're from what I've heard, they're kind of boring fish. Where they're ambush predators, so they kind of just uh, lay on a substrate waiting for something to come by. But when you throw in some food, whew, they're right on it, right on it. And besides, it's called a dragon puffer. I mean, that, that's one of the coolest names out there. And there's, nope, see, I, I'm showing restraint. I'm not taking him home either, even though I want to. And here we go. Please comment down below because I cannot pronounce the name of this fish. I mean, I could, but it might start, you know, it might start an earthquake or something. I don't know. It's definitely a beautiful fish. And I would assume it's a, it's an aggressive fish because it's kind of uh, kind of got that look about him. And here we have a baby silver arowana, one of the little ones. This guy's only like uh, twenty four dollars here. He's probably two to three inches. If, if to be honest, if I was going to start out with an arowana again, this is the size I would start with. It'll give you plenty of time to uh, think ahead. Now here's some of the big boys. These are some huge severums. I haven't seen ones this big in a while. Plus there's a couple of jumbo red hooks. Beautiful fish. Nice and thick too. Uh, here's a flower horn, which uh, doesn't have the hump. I believe this was also uh, turned in by one of the customers here to rehome it, which is uh, which is a good thing. I'm guessing this is a female, but uh, I'm probably incorrect. Let me know once again in the comments down below. Hey, Benny, you're doing it wrong. Now here's a bigger arowana that's for sale. God, I love these fish. Just the way they swim, it's so unique. You know, that species, that, that... Oh look, an alligator gar. Another tank buster. I would love to have the room to have another alligator gar. I, I had one back in the day. It was a rescue from my buddies, uh, Zach, Dan, and Pete. But he jumped out. When I came home, I saw that I was heartbroken. He was such a cool fish, and he wasn't that big. I think he jumped out because he got startled by uh, somebody else. There's, there's always aggression when you have fish like this. Now, they also have a nice tank of assorted cichlids. Look at these guys. Look at that one right there. Yeah. Those are not, yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. So I, like I said, I have to get rid of my bed to uh, to put in a tank big enough for, for all the fish I want. Now here's, here's some really big boys. Of course, we got the red tail catfish. Probably, actually, the first fish I ever got was a red-tailed catfish, and I had no idea how big they get. Same thing. Look at here. Look at these Oscars. They are beautiful, but they're big. 
to really big. So please tell anybody you know that's thinking of getting these fish, show them this video. Look how big this fish is gonna get. Look at him, he's looking at it, he's like, you know how big I'm gonna get? But definitely a beautiful fish. Now here is a beautiful red sebrum. Out of all the fish, besides the front coats that I'm taking home, the little baby one, this one here is one of my favorites. I would look at the colors on this. It, it almost rivals the discus. I would love to take one of these home. Sebrums are very underrated fish, if you ask me. The colors are just stunning on this guy right here. Well, that's what's going on at Fishbowl Pets. I thought I'd show you some of the new fish they have there. Show you some of the tank busters. You know, just give me an update. So, I hope you guys had a good time, and I can't wait to see you next time. I'm Finny's Aquatic. Woo!